They call us the Fork River Killers, but a snazzy media-made moniker doesn't tell the whole story of who we are. It doesn't get into the why of it all. And to understand the why, you have to understand the who. And not just who we are, like me, Alfredo Ramirez, and me, Madeline Coughlin, but you have to understand who we kill for. And it's not to silence a voice in our heads, or to appease some long-forgotten god. We do it for one man, and one man only. Hello, and welcome to Truest Crime, the only true crime podcast that isn't hosted by deranged podcasters, because it's hosted by deranged murderers. Special Agent Antonio Rodriguez of the FBI has been hot on our trail for 10 years as of today. That's right, it's the 10-year anniversary of when Rodriguez was first assigned our case. It's an incredible run, made even more so by the fact that we've been making a mockery of his sad attempts to bring us to justice every step of the way. And it's hilarious. That's why we're going to pull the veil back a little to show you what it's like to make Special Agent Rodriguez's life a living hell he will never escape because we'll haunt him even in death. To celebrate 10 years of torment, we're going to set up a little surprise, grotesque tableau of death filled with little callbacks to previous slayings and memories of all the times we've slipped through his fingers. You know, just a little something to commemorate 10 years of magic. Exactly. Now, our little salute to our favorite FBI agent began as so many of our killings do, with the routine chloroforming of a jogger. Okay, we're, uh, standing on a corner in a suburban neighborhood, and we're at a spot where late night joggers typically pass by. We did uh, get one jogger, but Alfredo, I, I think you would agree, uh, he would have ripped us to shreds. Absolutely. He was a mountain of a man. Chloroform is an efficient way to knock out victims, but we would have needed a dunk tank for this guy. Shh, 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 someone's coming, someone's coming. Yeah, here he comes, ready? Okay, yeah. three, two, one. Hey man, sorry to bother you. Oh yeah, it's no problem at all, how can I help you, bud? Oh, oh, nothing major at all. I was just, uh, I was just wondering if you could smell this rag for me. Oh, sure. <laughs> Can't resist the scent of a good rag. Oh, is is that, is that chloroform? Oh, I love it, love it. You know, it's one of my favorite smells. What a nice guy. Oh my God, super nice. Now you grab his legs. Let's put him in the trunk. With our victim acquired, it was time to get to work creating our morbid masterpiece for our loyal arch nemesis. We have a rich history with Rodriguez that we want to honor with this piece, so we want to go the extra mile with it. I've sketched out some ideas for the tableau that we want to set up in his garage so he can discover it when he comes home from work. Speaking of which, it's going to be a lot of work, so we'd better get started ASAP. So, tell us, what's the special plan here with the body? <clears throat> well, um, uh, I'm uh, removing his arms, and I'll be sewing them onto the side of his head. Uh, the idea is to pose the arms like they're stretching out, like a, like he just performed a big show-stopping musical number. Right, yeah. Because, you know, this is a big day, so it's got to be a big performance. So then in his torso, I'm going to sew in little trinkets, like like little memories of our past adventures that he can cut open and reminisce at his leisure. Like a human advent calendar. Yes, e exactly. He can open the door in the left thigh to find some cockroaches to remind him of the time we trapped him in a hole for a week. And, and then the next day, he can open up the chest cavity to find his ex-partner's hand that we've kept in formaldehyde for six years. But the grand prize will be what's behind door number three, which I'm thinking will be somewhere in the neck region, maybe. I, I don't know. It's all fluid right now. But the real reward will be the warm and meaningful note written in letters cut out of magazines thanking him for his decade of inspiration, along with a pumpkin spice scented candle. Oh, his wife will love that. Well, ex-wife. Oh, that's right. I forgot we did that. That's understandable. We, we've accomplished so much in a decade. It, it's easy to forget just how thoroughly we've ruined his life. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's so weird to say, but I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous. Like, I, I really want him to like it. Well, he won't. I, I mean, that's kind of the point, though, right? But I know what you mean. We, we're really pouring our souls into this one, and, and we just want to make sure we get the reaction we're looking for. Same. Well, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. After a few days of work, the grotesque tableau was done and positioned in his garage. It was just a matter of waiting to see the look on Rodriguez's face. Okay, the feed from the hidden camera in his garage is coming in clear. Uh, everything looks set. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. I know, I know, me too. Let's hope he likes it. Or hates it. Either way, it's a win for us. Here he is. 
All right, here we go. Oh my god! Oh god, no! No! No, you sons of bitches! You sick sons of bitches, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll fight you and I'll kill you! Oh, oh. Was that it? Give it a second. There it is. That's what we were looking for. That couldn't have gone better. I am so happy. Look, folks, we take our work very seriously and put so much time and so much effort into it, especially this one. And it just... This this, this is why. This is why we do this. It's so validating because, like... We don't do it for ourselves. I mean, I mean, we do because we have a natural bloodlust that would drive us crazy if we didn't sate. But I think we've both been pretty lucky to have Rodriguez relentlessly hunting us for the past decade to no avail a and vice versa. He's been keeping us sharp. And in return, we've been specters of death whose cackles out of the darkness have been a constant reminder of his own futility. And everybody needs one of those. Exactly. As always, we want to thank Special Agent Antonio Rodriguez and everybody at the FBI for intently listening to our episodes, hoping to catch some kind of clue that will bring our reign of terror to an end. Maybe next week, fellas. And everybody else not in the FBI, thank you for listening. Other than this podcast that we use to antagonize the FBI, we're not really into all the typical ways people connect with each other, so we're not on Twitter or Instagram, and we don't have fingerprints. So if you want more of us, stay subscribed and keep watching the news. Our work is bound to show up. Remember, new episodes go up every Monday, and new bodies get displayed every Thursday. So instead of following us, you can follow the Inaudible Podcast Network on Twitter at InaudibleCast, and then consider subscribing to the network's Patreon at patreon.com slash inaudiblepod. All right, you killers, that's enough for us this week, but don't forget to tune in next week. We'll see you all then soon. Bye-bye.